So fluid power is just the rate at which you do fluid work. So let's uh, raise some water. Uh, there's a water tank. With a very expensive lattice work. And it's uh, getting all this water from this lake right here, and there's a pump, P, that's delivering the water up. And let's say it has to move it through a height of, uh, of five meters. So I'm going to raise this water a height of five meters. It's water, so it's going to have a density of a thousand kilograms per cubic meter. And when I fill this up, it's got a volume of uh, 2,000 cubic meters. And I can fill it up in a time of uh, 12 hours. And this is pure water. So let's figure it out first. A, what's the pressure required to raise that up, the minimum pressure? Well, the minimum pressure required to get that water up to that height of 5 meters is the mass density times gravity times the height, which is 1,000 kilograms per cubic meter times 9.8 meters per second squared times 5 meters, which is going to give me uh, 49,000 Now, let's see, I've got a kilogram meter per second squared. There's a Newton right there. So that's a kilogram meter per second squared times a meter divided by a meter cubed. That's, that's a Newton per meter squared. That's Pascal's, or Newton's per meter squared. Now, let's figure out the power. Hmm. Power is um, power is the work over time, and we calculated the fluid work, which is divided by the time. We got uh, forty-nine thousand joule newtons. Excuse me, newtons per meter squared. Oh wait a second, I haven't calculated the work. <laughs> Forgive me. The work is the pressure difference times the volume. The units weren't working out, so I knew it had to be wrong. Divided by the time. Oh, I should change that 12 hours. So here we go. I got 49,000 newtons per meter squared. I'm filling it up. Volume of 2,000 cubic meters. And I'm doing it at a time of 12 hours. I think right down below here, I'll just mention that there's a, there are 3,600 seconds in an hour. I put it down here. I could have multiplied the whole thing by one hour per 3,600 seconds, but they would have still canceled. And let's see what we get. So that'll be 49,000 times 2,000 divided by 12 divided by 3,600, so that's on the bottom two. And I get uh, 2,270, 2,270. Now, newtons per meter squared times meters cubed. I'm going to have one meter left up here, meters cubed over meters squared. So I got newtons times meters divided by seconds. Well, that's uh, a newton meters a joule, so that's joules per second. And the joule per second is a watt. Now, let's try a C. Take your time when you're going over these. Just, uh, you know, you can always hit the pause button and just stare at the, at the board and make sure you understand all the steps. Make sure you can do them without looking at what I did. If you can do them on your own without looking at this stuff, you understand the material better. Let's find out what the input power is if we have an efficiency of uh, 40%. 
I guess I'll say 40 percent this time. Well, let's see. Efficiency is output power over input power times 100 percent. If I solve for the input power, I've got to get it on top and by itself, which means I'll multiply both sides by the input power, and then I'll divide both sides by the efficiency, and I'll wind up with the input power is equal to the output power times 100 percent over the efficiency. I'm just going to put it over here. I could put it anywhere as long as it's on the bottom. And that's going to be 2,270 watts times 100 percent divided by 40 percent, and the percents will cancel. And I'll wind up with, I'll wind up with, uh, Five thousand six hundred and seventy five watts. Make sure that's bigger than the output. If it is, you're good to go. Now we should talk about we should do another electrical problem and, and a thermal energy problem. So we'll do that next.